Hi, I'm Zed, and welcome back. Today, we will be talking about the struggles of a plant buying ban and how I'm coping. So, first of all, plant buying bans suck. They suck so, so bad. I can't buy any new plants. I can only trade and propagate, which, oh my gosh. There's so many plants that I want that I could have just went out and buy, but it's so much harder to trade and propagate them. So today we're going to talk about the ones that I've gotten for free, which is not a lot. <laughs> so first, the first struggle is propagation fails. So far, this string of pearls cuttings are not doing well at all. Not, not at all. They're just shriveled up and just like dying. No idea what to do, or how to fix it, so whatever. Second of all, props that you have to, like, re-put in water. See, all the roots died off of this Syngonium Potophyllum, and now it is back in water. Yay. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Second of all, chopping up plants you already own. Um, so I chopped up some plants that looked gorgeous that I already had and now they look like this I have one more vial of cuttings. I just don't want to get it down Yeah And some of the propagation methods I'm using to cope is Node propagation and moss so I'm using preserved moss because real moss is very expensive and as you can see this is the pothos android cutting that i got from bookman's right it was not rooting in water at all so i started putting it like i was in water for like three weeks and had no roots whatsoever so i cut off a bunch of its nodes i think there's like three in here and you can already see it's working because there's a little root crystal right there that only formed after I put it into this box with sphagnum and preserved moss. There's also like this, um, sing, not syngonium, what the heck is it called? I'll think of it later. And then I have the little nodes. This one is a pothos android node. node. Oh yeah, my Marble Queen pothos cutting died. This is also another one. This has a little root crystal on it. I don't know if you can see that little white ball, but it's just sitting in here. And then we have a we have a golden pothos node cutting with the inner node spaces that are really small. That is gonna hopefully, I don't know why I had my hand up for a while. Hopefully that'll work. And I'm really look, looking for more plants to put to get more nodes off of. I would really love like a uh, is any kind of pothos nodes or I can't think of what this is called or any other aeroids that have nodes the reason that it's been so long that I've posted actually is because my camera broke <laughs> so I haven't used my phone right now but that's fine more struggles with plant buying bans. Ugh, I can buy plants for people as presents, but I don't do that. I don't know why. I bought my grandma like one syngonium, which is the same one that this cutting is, a white butterfly. It's so very annoying. I will show you the one plant that was a totally accidental buy, and I'll explain the story. Let me go get it. I don't know if you can see inside of here, but this is a heart leaf fern. This heart leaf fern was originally planned for my grandmother. Because for Mother's Day, I wanted to get her an African violet terrarium, make her an African violet terrarium, but the two nurseries that I love, and I didn't want to go to any other nurseries, didn't have them. So I was like, oh, I'll just get her this heart fern. And then I bought the heart fern. 
and was all prepared to make a the terrarium with said heart fern. But then I was like, eh, why don't I just go to my favorite grower, one, like one more time, one, my favorite nursery, one more time, just one more time. I asked if they had any miniature African violets, and they're like, we have none out right now, but we'll take you to the back. So I went to the back, long story short, I got the African violet, and then this Hartley fern was no longer needed. Yay. Only plant I bought in like March, April, May, June, and now it's still, and it's almost August. Only plant I bought in five months. That's insane. I used to buy a plant a week. One plant a week. How many weeks is that? That's like five times four is 20. That's 20 plants. And I only have one. I'm doing pretty amazing. I have collected more plants. Like, well, the snake plant I got way before the plant buying ban. It just now finally potted up. But it's very, 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 very difficult not to just buy plants. I'm in so many buy sell trade groups on Facebook that I see all these gorgeous plants like Raphidophora tetrasperma. Oh my god, I love those so much. Um, Philodendron gloriosum and Anthurium clarinervium. Those three plants are the top of my want list. And I'm going to do a video about my plant wish list. It just, it's on my phone and I have to film with my phone right now. So, yeah, I'll have to like print it out or something or like write it down. And then like figure that out somehow but I will do it thank you everyone for watching please like and subscribe please like this video and subscribe to my channel have a good rest of your day and bye